Hi, welcome to the recording of the Weaning and Dry Times webinar. This webinar was presented by Megan Rogers from Sheep Smart Solutions on Wednesday the 12th of December 2018. This is clip 3 of 9. It includes information on weaner growth rates, the importance of feed on offer and management targets. This graph here comes out of an AWI publication called Planning for Profit and it looks at the impact of weaning, er, weaning early or at 12 weeks versus at 20 weeks. So are there any advantages of leaving those lambs on mum? And you'll see the, the darker lines are a, a timely weaning and that shows that there's a, there's a difference. Uh, they're the same weight at, at, at three months. However, the ones that were weaned earlier suffered less setback as they chugged on through and, and ultimately there's a bit of a, a difference there of a few kilos by the time they reach 17 months of age. So again, it's there's certainly an advantage in making sure that you do wean if you're in some, some more pastoral type environments uh, to allow you, you, the lambs to, to get going, but also on the you recovering. Again, feed on offer, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but you know, obviously feed on offer and live weight of merino lambs at weaning, the higher the feed on offer for singles and twins, the higher the weaning weights. And again, in terms of prioritising feed for weaners, it's really important with both quality of feed and quantity of feed. So the main, main, main points here are quality and quantity. I've already covered the, the fact that 45% of standard reference weight at weaning is a key target. And I, I can't emphasise that enough. It's, it's something that, that we really like to make sure that people are thinking about. Um, in, in our good seasons, 45% of standard reference weight at weaning is very easily achievable. In our less favourable seasons, it's a lot more of a challenge. And it doesn't mean that if, if you don't hit that target that, that you can't get some compensatory growth out of those animals. As, a, as I showed in that slide before with those four groups of animals, they can still wean light and um, make good growth rates and, and get back to target timely fashion. Minimal variation in live weight is important in terms of just being able to, to apportion your, your feed resources in a fairly accurate type of fashion. So if you've got a, a large range in, in live weights, certainly a recommendation to, um, to manage them according to, to weights. They will have slightly different requirements. And as you know, the lighter ones are going to suffer more. If you've got larger mobs, they're not going to be able to access any supplement um, as readily as the larger quite possibly more bossy, but the larger ones will get a better crack at the feed that you're offering them. Uh, manage your feed base. So if you do have some pasture available, um, you've been under some, some storms, certainly think about the quality of the feed and the quantity. Obviously with, wean with weaners, uh, green is, is king. So if you do have some, some green feed, uh, your weaners will thank you for it and um, management of those animals will certainly free up a little bit of time for yourself as well. Pastoral supplement, have a bit of a plan of attack on how you're going to manage feed base, whether it be pasture plus or minus supplement, what the supplement's going to be and how is it going to meet their requirements. I'm going to spend a bit of time in a little while on, on what their requirements are. I'll show you a feed budget table that you can use to work that out with a higher degree of accuracy. Weight gain is really essential. They need to be moving forward. What we do know is that, that a merino weaner doesn't have a lot of energy stored on board. They're young growing animals. They store energy as protein and fat. And a, a, a young animal just by nature has a whole lot less fat and protein on board. Proteins stored in muscles and, and some vital organs. And obviously, you know that a, a young weaner at weaning times, not usually um, in a particularly uh, dry times, hasn't got a, a massive cover of fat. So they're still growing actively and therefore they don't have a lot of reserves on board. So if, if we're not gaining weight, if we're not keeping, just maintaining weight, which is not something we recommend for small animals, then we're going backwards and we're utilising the stores that, they're, that they have on board and that's compromising them again, making them more vulnerable to, you know, death or, or just poor performance. Parasite management is really important in this, this instance um, and if, if you do have a, a parasite load, then that will um, impede nutritional um, availability. So if, if there's some, even if there is good feed on offer and, and plenty of supplement being offered, they're not going to be taking that um, in and utilising that appropriately. 
And vaccination is really important. Again, they don't have a fully developed immune system, so they need to be given as much um, of the uh, best practices as, as you can throw at them to, to give them the best start possible. And, and certainly uh, with regards to vaccination, that a full vaccination program consists of breeding use having a booster, pre-lambing, uh, young animals being vaccinated at marking time, and then a booster vaccination being administered at weaning time. Thank you for watching this short clip. For more information, please visit www.leadingsheep.com.au.